Good morning, it's Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your daily spirit messages today. And I've already pulled out some cards, we'll pull some tarot in a moment. But what we have here is a lot of energy around how, how you view self, what your self image is. We have the mirror, stargazer, the heart chakra, we've got the birch rod, journey, healing, flirt. We've got this self-healing, self-care card down here. You can't buy sugar at Central Hardware. And what do you need to release? So I'm going to start here with the mirror. The mirror is all about self-image and how you see self versus who you really are. So it feels like there's some energy around identity today to me. The stargazer set your sights higher. It's also about moving beyond limitations. And I feel like this birch rod is talking about things that we tell ourselves over and over again, whether they are true or whether they're not true. It's kind of like running a program. Like I can't do that because I'm this way. Or, I can't do this because I'm that way. And, or this is who I am, this is who I am. I, you know, it's like a repetitive thing. And instead of just recognizing the pattern of the message, it just plays and plays and plays. And so today's energy is asking us to recognize the pattern of what we're playing and playing and playing in our minds and identify whether or not it's true so that we can move past limitations. The heart chakra card is talking about the heart chakra, the identity space. So the identity space is your manifesting magnet. And this is about realigning with the true energy of you, your essence, your star essence. What is it that you need to heal for this to take place? What kind of journey have you been on that's gotten you here? And what needs to happen still for you to heal from whatever has happened? Flirt is about being lighthearted. It's about raising frequency. And this is set your sights higher. It's all about raising frequency, unfurling back to love. And what do you need to release? The moon is waning right now. So what kind of things do you need to release in order to readjust that, that starlight, that essence energy of you? What kind of self-care do you need? So let's go ahead and pull some tarot and see what happens here also. What's going on, Tarot? Spirit, what do we need to know today for our highest and our greatest good? And of course, I've already called in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. Because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And we've got the seven of wands. So the seven of wands is about having conviction. This is also a self-care card for me. It's standing up for what you believe in. And the double thing here is what have you been standing up for and evaluating whether or not that is your truth or not? This is who I am. This is who I am. Is it? Maybe it is, but maybe there's something going on that wants to expand. This is all about breaking through limitations. Well, let's see what else, Spirit. We've got the emperor reversed. The emperor reversed can be controlling. It's trying to control situations because we feel out of control. And sometimes when we feel out of control, we try to put ourselves in a box so that we can control, but then we limit ourselves. So this is very limiting. This is also the card of, I don't want to say, well, yeah, it is like negative self-speak, but it can be negative speak in general. It's kind of, it's what we say to ourselves that it's like how we fool ourselves, how we fool ourselves. I mean, this can be gaslighting for me, but this is about gaslighting yourself. Some self-sabotage coming in. The emperor is the culmination of all of the kings. But when he's reversed, he's not stepping into any of them. So there's some kind of action-oriented thing that's not happening in order to step into space to get things done, space to make things happen in 3D. One more tarot. 
yet. What do we need to know? Right. And here's the six of swords reverse. So this is a rite of passage, going through a rite of passage, moving on, moving to a better place. And when it's reversed, it's like there's hesitation about going through that rite of passage. Something needs to be released in order for that to happen. Some reevaluation needs to happen in order for you to move on. Okay. That's what I have for us today. Thanks for being with me and I will see you tomorrow.